Okay, so what we have here is a, a hot plate and then infrared camera set up. So this is just a, a Fluor infrared camera um, uh, and a hot plate just to simulate a heat source, which is the body. And so what we can do is layer our X-reflex materials on the hot plate and observe the difference. So we've got two fabrics. This is a 15D uh, nylon fabric, nylon woven ripstop. And what we can do is uh, demonstrate the difference between a material with the X-reflex technology applied and without. So as this is the inner lining layer, we're actually going to have the radiant barrier facing upwards here. So that's essentially facing away from the body or facing the insulation layer. You can see already there's a large difference in the emission. So this is working to reduce the emission of radiant heat uh, from the body. Then we layer our insulation layer on top. This is a 60 GSM, one of our X-reflex insulations. And you'll see through the insulation, there's a big difference in the heat transferring through. And then we'll get our uh, top shell layer. And so on the left side here, we'll layer another fabric treated with X-reflex. And on the right side, a fabric without X-reflex. Okay, so same insulation layer, same fabric with and without X-reflex X treatment. You'll see a very big difference between the, the heat radiating through the, the substrate. Now we can go a step further here and demonstrate what happens when we increase the amount of insulation on the non-X-reflex side. So I've got the exact same insulation here and I'll double that up. And we'll see that we actually have very, very similar heat loss through both substrates. However, the X-reflex treated one has half the amount of insulation as the non-X-reflex layer. So we've got the lining layer, it's reducing emission of heat through the, through the uh, assembly. And then we've got the, the outer shell layer, which is helping to reflect radiant, radiant heat back down.